I met Enrica in 1977 when I was pregnant with my first child, and we were both young and broke. And she was filled with skills growing up in a place, multi-generational family, everyone knew how to do everything. And I grew up 10 miles from New York City and knew very little, but loved it all. And when I would go up to visit her, she had just moved out of a teepee into a small cabin that she and her husband had met, had built no electricity, no running water on top of a, the biggest mountain close to our house. Every time I would go there, you know, no phone, so no way to tell someone that you were coming, you just show up. There would be something else that she had made out of sticks, twigs, grass, uh, just mind-blowing, you know. And in the middle of this, she's making lace and crocheting fabulous things and dyeing. Th I mean, it was just um, mind-blowing. And uh, we've been friends since then in a lot of different capacities, actually. When I went back to school, Enrica took care of my kids. She op operated a fabulous daycare center in Elkins where all of the toys were handmade and all the kids were learning how to crochet with their <laughs> hands. And I mean, it, <laughs> it was a, a really beautiful thing. And a lot of us who were going back to school, back to Landers, going back to school, relied on her to take care of our kids, actually. And then she moved to Guam um, to run a big daycare center for the Navy, and I lost her. Um, you know, I got busy, she got busy, we're in different continents, and then years and years later, she moved back to West Virginia and was living south of Buchanan, and I heard that she was back, so another one of those unannounced visits, <laughs> I drove over there, and she was in the process of dyeing wool from every plant within her site of her home. I'm talking about over, what, 150 plants or? 200. 200, in the neighborhood of 200 plants. With these skeins of wool hanging from the bushes, the trees laying on top of the shed roof, a handmade Navajo loom on the front porch, a handmade loom in the living room of this house. Her, a huge, I'm just describing this because it's just mind blowing. You know, she was doing bobbin lace inside the house and crocheting and four different looms going with all these projects. And that's the way, that kind of awe is pretty much how everyone has reacted to everything that she makes.